Today, I will be demonstrating how to view, create, and upload My Health Record documents from within best practice. I'll be using the Australian Digital Health Agency's on-demand training simulation, which is freely accessible via the agency's website. The simulation also contains instructions on how to perform the demonstrated steps. We will start by opening the test patient's file. You will notice that the My Health Record button has a green outline. This means the patient currently has a record and that the system has been configured correctly. You can open the patient's record by clicking on the button. The red text above the list of documents indicates which filters are active. You can control these by modifying the parameters on the left side of the window. I'll change them so that I can see older documents and prescription and dispense records. You can quickly view the patient's latest shared health summary by clicking the big button at the top of the window. You will notice that the summary contains four key sections, adverse reactions, medications, medical history, and immunizations. We'll take a look at a diagnostic imaging report. You can open an attachment by clicking on the relevant hyperlink. In addition to the prescription and dispense documents listed within the main My Health Record window, there exists a prescription and dispensed view, which can be accessed by clicking the relevant button at the top of the medication pane. I'll change the parameters at the top so that I can see all the documents and the expanded summary of each medicine. This allows you to view details of the prescribed and dispensed medicines that have been uploaded to the patient's record. Finally, you can quickly access records by clicking on the My Health Record tab at the top of the main patient window. Next, we'll create and upload a shared health summary. You can begin the process by clicking on the My Health Record tab and then on Shared Health Summary. This window allows you to select or remove the items to be recorded in the summary. We'll test this out by removing an item from three of the four sections. Clicking on Upload will take you to the next window which provides a preview of the Shed Health Summary. If you have read the red text at the bottom and would like to upload the summary, click on Upload. The Shed Health Summary has been added to the patient's record. Now, we'll create an Upload and Event Summary. You can start by clicking on the My Health Record tab and then on Event Summary. You can enter a summary of the event by typing in the text box at the top of the window or by clicking on the Import Current Visit Notes button. You can also add items by clicking on More and then selecting the relevant item or items. Clicking on Upload will take you to the preview.
you can now upload the summary by again clicking on Upload. The event summary has now been added to the patient's record. We will now gain access to the record of a patient who has applied restrictions. We'll begin by opening the test patient's file. You will be asked to enter a code. At this point, the patient can provide the code if they'll like you to view, create, or upload documents. A record access code allows you to view all documents, whereas a limited document access code allows you to access specific documents. In this case, the code is 1234. In case of emergency, you can temporarily bypass these restrictions by using the emergency access button. Please note that, as per the prompt, this function is only to be used when there is a serious threat to the individual's life, health or safety and their consent cannot be obtained. That was a quick run through on how to view, create and upload My Health Record documents. As I mentioned, the agency's on-demand training simulation is accessible to everyone. It's a great way to try out some of the My Help Record features.